So let's say you have a website built on WordPress or Shopify and you want to integrate a payment gateway that accepts uh, payments in cryptocurrencies. So let's say for, a, for an example, I have this website which is devrahul.in where I share all my source code that I create in my reels and in my videos and I have already installed WooCommerce plugin for it and I want to sell this product which I created using WooCommerce and this is the product which I want to sell and also if I click on add to cart then I click on view to cart and this is the product which I want to sell and accept payments through cryptocurrencies. So how can I do this? So there is a very simple way and when you search Cryptomus on Google you will land on a, uh, land on a page that is Cryptomus.com and this is a payment gateway which accepts crypto payments. So this is very famous payment gateway which helps you to integrate, help you to accept payments on your website in cryptocurrencies. So with the help of this platform, you can create your branded payment page like placing your logo and customizing the appearance of the page, uh, payment page according to your need. So that, that is the wonderful thing for any platform to do that. And also you can generate invoices in your e-commerce platform also, you can set up recurring, recurring payments. Suppose you have a subscription business model, you can also do that. And if you're using, if you have a betting and iGaming website, so you can uh, integrate in them also. Also, I can create a payment link so that I can share the link directly to the users and they can pay me directly through the link in cryptocurrencies. So all of the things are supported in cryptomus.com. So that is a very good thing and it is fast and um, as you can see, uh, the developers of the Cryptomus uh, had done a lot of hard work to create this website and backend from front end. You can see how the front end of this website looks uh, amazing. It is amazing. Okay. And now let's uh, understand the features of cryptocurrencies of the Cryptomus of the Cryptomus.com that it provides. So it have a support team and support team is available on Telegram and email. So if you stuck anywhere uh, while creating your project or while integrated, integrating it, you can directly contact them and they will reply you in within a second. I Yes, within a second they reply you. And also you can directly um, ask for help from here, right? From the, directly from the chat box and they will be available in no time, right? So that is the good thing for any payment gateway and uh, Cryptomus provides you to that. And also you can create mass payouts. Uh, also you can adjust, uh, uh, trans uh, also you can see transaction status management. Uh, also you can adjust commissions the, for each coin. So that is a good thing. You can set up your own commission rates and also, also they have volatility protect protection. So you know you don't need to worry about anything for security reasons. Also, they support most of the blockchains that are available in the market. And so whatever crypto you want to accept, they will support you. No need to worry. Also, it it, it support multiple e-commerce platforms such as Shopify, WooCommerce, OpenCart, Tilda, PrestaShop, WHMCS. Also, if I click on all plugins, you can see all the plot platforms that are supported by cryptomus.com so uh, also you can watch the tutorials by clicking on view tutorial directly from the website but uh, for now what i will do i will click on download button and when i click on it it will download a plugin of cryptomus for my woocommerce project so if you are using any other platform like shopify so you can watch the int instructions of installing it and trust me, they have very easy instructions and very easy integration process. So I have installed that uh, plugin. So now what I will do, I have, I have downloaded that plugin for my WooCommerce. Now what I will do, I will create one account for my CryptoMess. So to create an account, you can use your email or phone number. So let's say if I want to use my email, that is this. And let's set up a password. So I have this password. And let's click on agree with terms and conditions. Let's create an account. And within a second, they will send you an uh, OTP on your email. So you just have to enter the OTP on your email. So I got the OTP in a second. So let's enter the passcode. So that is my OTP. 
and when you uh, land on this uh, after that otp you will land on the dashboard of cryptomus so here you can see at the first time if you are uh, installing you will see how the instructions to the dashboard so now here we have personal wallet in the left side and business wallet so if you're using business you can use business if you're just having using it for personal use you can use your personal wallet and in the dashboard, I can see my available balances and all the transactions that is received, withdrawal, transferred and any conversions. Also, we have crypt, uh, currency by currency wallet. So you can check it out also. And let's move on to the uh, settings page, right? So this is my setting page where I can manage my personal settings and my business settings as well. So there is a security. So we need to enable two factor authentications. Uh, for extra security and this is the very important step for um, for uh, you to get it done so let's in, uh, enable that two-factor authentications at first so to enable it when you click on enable you will see step-by-step -step instructions given by cryptomus.com so it is saying that download and install authentic authenticator app in your um, uh, mobile so let's let me do that so now i have installed google authenticator app in my uh, in my phone so you can use your play play store or app store if you're using android you can use uh, play store to install that google authenticator app and if you're using ios devices you can use your app store to install that google authenticator app and then you have to log in with it uh, with your google account and now what you have to do you have to scan this qr code which is uh, showing on the dashboard so let me do that and on my google authenticator app i will i'm scanning this and when i scan this i will get a code from google authenticator app so this is my code so this was my code and let's confirm in my email did i get any code so i have this on my email which is 751742 so you have to use google authenticator authenticator code um and also you they will send you the code on email you have to use both the things and when i hit confirm you can see authenticator successfully linked now let's press got it and then the all the options are now available you need to access to your first mention and also uh, notifications whitelist referral program so there are referral program in that so you can invite your clients so that you can so receive the commission the commission on p2p and this is the referral program so you can this can be the way to earn some extra money and if you refer to someone you will get 30 percent of the 50 percent commissions from p2p trades that all customers you refer so now let's do uh, for business uh, now to, before uh, creating your uh, api key what i will suggest you need to create one merchant so more creating a merchant is very easy so on the dashboard of your cryptomus.com when you go down to the merchants you can see there's option that uh, says create merchant and when i click on that uh, you need to set up a merchant name so my name is developer Rahul. so let this create this you can see the name must contain only letters numbers and dashes so what i can do i can remove the space so now this is developer Rahul and create this merchant name so my merchant name is created all the left is set up to and it will show you that all the le that's left is to set up your api integration so now what i'm going to do i am going to use uh, AT api integration so when you do that after that you will see settings and here it the, it will show you merchant id and also something you need to add on so now uh, let's copy this merchant id okay and in my uh, wordpress website what i'm going to do i'm going to install that plugin which we downloaded from the cryptomus.com so let's hit on wordpress dashboard and go to plugins and then click on add new plugin let's click on upload plugin and let's choose that file which we downloaded from the cryptomus.com uh, so this is my plugin file let's in click on install it now so you can see the installation of the plugin done within a second so and after that you need to click activate that plugin so now i have activated that plugin and when i go to my plugin section here when i search 
CryptoMask, you can see there is a configure method, uh, configure button, and we need to configure that CryptoMask with our platform. So what I will do, I will click on configure, and here you can see there you need to enable it. So uh, what I will do, I will click on enable it, and also I will use my merchant ID. So here in that I have this merchant ID, and what I will do, I will paste this merchant ID in the merchant ID section. So I have done it. So now um, you you need it. It is asking for um, a payment API key. So you need to get that API key. So to get that API key, we need uh, to replenish that merchant. So we need to your set up your website. So this is my website, which is devrahul.in. And what I will do, I will paste this website here. So here I sell my source code of the project so this is the small description and when i click on and also you can create uh, api key for your telegram board if you want to sell your products on telegram so you can also do that let's hit submit so after clicking on submit button it will show me to confirm my domain that domain is owned by me so i'm going to use a method so there i have three methods one is using dns uh, using a meta tag on the site or using a html file so what i will do i will do the easiest method which is using a meta tag on the site all those other two methods are also easy you need to just upload html file to the root folder using the third method or using just updating the dns dns record in your html in your website so i'm going to use meta tag uh, on this site so in my uh, admin uh, in my dashboard that uh, in my devrol.in dashboard i have installed a plugin that is uh, um, when I click on add new plugin plugin. So I have installed a plugin which name is meta tag manager. So this is the manager which uh, this is the manager which I'm going to, going to use and it is already installed. And you have if you have not installed, you can install it. Yeah, that uh, plugin name is meta tag manager. And after that, when I go to the my WordPress site settings, I will see here is a meta tag manager. And what I will do, I will add that meta tag inside my website. So let me do add meta tag. So this is the one. And in the content attribute, what we have, we have that D7, that, uh, that content. Let's copy this content and paste it here. That's it. I need to add this meta tag, meta name, cryptomus, contents, right? So it is exactly the same as shown inside that crypto must so let's uh, save changes and it is applied to all my pages so now when i save pages my meta tag is done now let's check if it is working when i click on check so it is showing me success because i added this meta tag now let's confirm that this it confirmed that this domain is used by me so i have this website i have this merchant id and now what only thing i need i need to use my payment api key so i'm going to do settings inside the setting for business i have to generate an api key let's hit on generate so it will ask me for two factor code in my authentication app authenticator app uh, crypto authenticator app which is my google authenticator app so let's wait for the code and show shown in my google authenticator app so now it is nine six seven nine four eight let's hit confirm so after that i will it will generate an api key i need to copy this api key and go back to my plugin section then install plugins and i have to find out that crypto must plugin and let's hit configure and now when i hit configure i need to put that api key which i generated and also that merchant id which i have created in my dashboard so let's click go to merchant and in merchant we have settings and inside that settings we have this merchant id so let's copy it i'm going to copy it paste it so i need to adjust that commission if you want to let's hit one pay for example and logo and method let's enable click enable and then save changes so now now my settings has been changed now let's get back to our website let's put add to cart let's place view cart let's change the value and let's say proceed to payout and now you can see 
we have a new option that is pay with cryptomus which shows that you have successfully integrated cryptomus payment gateway to the portal and now you are ready to accept payments in cryptocurrencies so that's all for uh, today guys and shout out to the cryptomus because it is a very beautiful platform very fast platform to accept payment gateways so with that said this is developer rahul signing off thank you